So I am a computer enthusiast, as most people know. I work in tech, I'm a software engineer. And so I've been fine tuning my setup for the past little while. And over the past couple of years, it's usually just resulted in me selling everything and restarting. But now I think we're at a pretty good place. Let's jump into a setup tour. So let's start with the most boring part of my setup, which is my bookshelf. So right now, these are all the books I have. I plan on getting more um, over the course of, I don't know how long, we even got a programming book down here. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Honestly, my bookshelf is not decorated very well. Got a couple hats, Tennessee poster, the Bible, if that's what you're into. Coming down from where I graduated, and then do have this Post Malone Hollywood's Bleeding cover, which is really, really, really cool. I uh, really love that. In the future, I do plan on getting some collector's keyboards or some more Tennessee gear. It really just depends on what I'm feeling at the time. So moving over slightly to the right, we have a Govi light bar and a Dreo fan. These are actually super cool because they all work with Alexa, which, thank you, makes my life a whole lot easier. And this Govi light bar is actually really cool because it's divided up into a bunch of different sections and you can actually change the lighting per section. So there's like, I think five, maybe 10 sections on this and you can change each section by themselves, which is really cool. So now let's move on to my work desk and some dog toys. So this is my work desk. Um, it is a 78 inch Carbly countertop sitting on some Amazon legs that I found. They're not Amazon brand, but just some Amazon legs, which honestly, I hope to change out in the future. Over here, we got the Logitech MX Keys 3 or Mini or something. And then we have the new Magic Trackpad, which I'm really excited about. Got a random mic I found on Amazon. And this is actually my personal computer, but this is a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro, super happy with. And then we got this little thing, it just like it gets dog hair off stuff. And then we got a black mouse pad, also just from Amazon Basics. Now, the cool thing of this desk is my 49 inch Samsung Ultra Wide. It's 1440p, 144 hertz. I absolutely love this monitor. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about only running one monitor. It feels really weird and you'll understand why it feels weird in a minute, but not sure if we're going to change the setup anytime soon. Uh, that monitor was pretty expensive. So before we go to the main setup, I'm gonna show you guys, I have a closet where I store a bunch of stuff. We're not gonna show the closet. Let's move on to the main setup. So let's start up with the desk, which is a 98 inch carbly countertop on top of Alex drawers with these little stands. Honestly, I'm not really sure why I did those, but I saw them, so I did them. And this is by far the best desk that I've ever had. I thought 98 inches of real estate would probably be too much, but surprise, it wasn't. And we got my doggo. So let's start from the left. I have my router from Xfinity, which I could make a whole video on internet companies, which they're great, but they also suck at the same time. And then I have two Gigabyte 27 inch monitors, 1440p, 144 Hertz, uh, one in the horizontal uh, mode and one in the vertical mode. And above the monitors is a camera mount, which is actually going to be changed today. There's supposed to be two C-clamp desk mounts coming today where I'm going to put this camera on, which I just bought, which is the Canon M200. Yeah, so the Canon M200 uh, standard kit lens. I actually got this used, and honestly, it doesn't really look used either. So really, really happy with that. And that's going to go up somewhere over there. Also, while we're on the topic, this is my Logitech. Oh, it's literally called the Loggy Light or Logi Light. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, this thing is actually super, super cool. So I was kind of worried about it not being good enough or not being bright enough, but it's actually more than bright enough just for this type of setup. And honestly, I even use it in some key light and stuff like that. So it's perfectly fine. And the best part is it actually works with Logitech G Hub and you can customize literally everything. The brightness, also the tone of the light, whether it's more daylight or more orangey. So that is actually pretty cool. So peripherals and sound, we have the, have the same mouse pad on the other way. I actually really need to clean those. But so for my keyboard, I have the Logitech G915 10 keyless, which honestly I'm kind of iffy about and it's too expensive to be iffy about this. For my mouse, I have the Logitech G502. It's the wireless version. Um, absolutely love this and back there, are the two uh, receivers. So you can use them 
as Bluetooth or you can use them as the light speed and I use the light speed. This is pretty cool. For sound, I have the Steel Series Arctis Pro. These are the wired version. And honestly, I love these. I've never had any issues with them. Steel Series software is also fine, whatever. Actually, it's really good. Um, and I'm really considering about getting the wireless versions. I know a lot of people use like Sennhauser or something like that, but I've had a really good experience with these. So I think I'm probably just gonna get the wireless version of these. So for more sound, I actually have these two Adifer bookshelf speakers, one there and one so you can't even see it. This is not ideal placement whatsoever, but they have been absolutely game changers. They are way louder than anything I need. Plug in through that and then go into the back of the PC. So absolutely love these. I would not mind mounting them up here or so I guess let's talk about my last monitor, which is my middle monitor. So this is a 34 inch gigabyte 1440p ultra wide monitor. And I have fallen in love with this. I originally had three 27s, but I felt 27 was a little different to game on because I did have a 34 inch 1080p at one point from LG, but I got this one and I love it. And I don't think I will ever go back. I think anything more, and 34 would probably be too big, but this this is just perfect. And it's 144 hertz as well. Lastly, let's talk about the wall mounts. So these wall mounts, I have three of them. One here, one there, and one all the way down there. And these are the Amazon Basics arms. And when I say I have not had a better mounting system, I haven't had a better mounting system. These are great and they're like $20 each, which is the cheapest of any that I've actually seen. And I'm not sure how much they're supposed to hold, but they can hold a 34 inch. Um, I don't think they're supposed to hold it, but they can. So the last thing I guess that we should talk about is my mini fridge. Just a random mini fridge that I got off of Amazon. Nothing too special. Also, I do have the Blue Yeti Nano. Got this two or three years ago and it's been perfectly fine. This is an arm from, I don't remember who, I'm sorry, but it was on Amazon and it was cheaper than the Rode arm. And this one is, Incredible. Absolutely love his death. Uh, not too much to say about it. I would like to upgrade to an XLR mic at some point, but this is doing perfectly fine. And the Logitech G Hub software actually works pretty good for this. So, oh, and for the last thing in the setup, we have my PC. This PC was built by yours truly and is my absolute baby. So in this PC, I have a Ryzen 7 3700X paired with an Asus motherboard as an Asus Prime Pro Actually, it's an ROG motherboard. I don't remember which one. I'll post it. I'll post everything in the, in the comments. With an RTX 3080, this one's from Gigabyte and I absolutely love it. It looks absolutely beautiful. I have two NVMe SSDs, two terabytes each, just for good storage, good and quick storage. I also have a two terabyte hard drive uh, just for bulk storage, which that is going to get upgraded at some point. They used to be my game drive, but then I bought the two terabyte NVMe and you know. So we do have eight Lee and Lee fans. These are the uni fans and these are absolutely dope. Absolutely love them to death. I think there's actually some up here too. Yeah, right up there. And I absolutely love it. I also have the Lee and Lee AIO and radiator and then Corsair RAM, which is I think 3,600 megahertz and it's 32 gigs. So pretty cool there. Oh, we have, we have one more thing which is my chair. This chair is hands down the best chair that I've ever had. I was looking at getting a Herman Miller or something like that since I do work from home most of the time, but I couldn't justify spending that much on a chair. It's like a thousand dollars, which I mean, this one wasn't cheap either, but it's the best thing ever. It's cushy, kind of, not really, but it's so firm, but it's cushy at the same time, and it's absolutely perfect. And I, I've had cushy chairs before, thought I loved them, I really didn't love them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and a little insight into my setups. One for my job, which is a software engineer, and one for my play and gaming and all that cool stuff. Um, if you have any recommendations for things that I should get or things that I should upgrade, please let me know. Unfortunately, I will probably spend more money than I should, but please leave them down in the comment section and I will be looking at all the comments. But that's effectively the end of the video. So, catch you in the next one. Peace and blessings.